hey, I love technology. It's made our shafts become lighter and lighter and lighter, drivers and irons. And therefore, we can swing faster and faster and faster. But at what cost? I think at some point, the club gets so light that it makes us lose our sense of tempo and makes it really difficult for us to get going a smooth takeaway. So right after this, let me show you a couple of tips that will ensure that you can make a really smooth takeaway with good tempo right after this. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. I continue my journey to hit the ball longer and straighter than I have ever before. I hope I can show you a few tips so you can do the same. Okay, since clubs have gotten so light, and I'll tell you, the, the weight of clubs has been written about since the 1800s in books uh, that discuss the merits of too heavy of a club or too light of a club and finding a club somewhere right in the middle where you can swing the speed, but at the same time you don't lose the feeling of the club head swinging out at the end. And so I think we've gotten away so much with these lighter shafted clubs. I think it would be really, really beneficial to you to grab something heavy. And in this way, you can establish, again, a feel of the, the rhythm and the flow of the swing and the way that kind of centrifugal force, we would like to use that sensation to work into our golf swings in order to make them both powerful and repeating. And in this way, we, I think I can give you a couple tips using a medicine ball, something like this. Uh, you can grab one of these on Amazon or at the gym or just use something heavy. Even a bucket of water works fantastic. Uh, just fill up a, a pail of water and you can do these same exercises. Um, first thing, a tip to give you a good smooth takeaway is I would really encourage you to make a counter move. So it's really old school, but there's a lot of merit to it because it enables you to overcome inertia and go right into your takeaway smoothly. So something like this, and I just call this my and move. So here I'm at, at address, and I'm just going to, I'm gonna kick my right knee in and allow my left hip to make a little bit of a bump. So watch this move here. And what this move is gonna do to my trunk, it's gonna make my trunk tend to kind of wind up through the ball, uh, kind of past where the ball is, something like this. And so watch, it's the hip and the knee are triggering, I'm allowing them to advance my torso past the ball this way almost imperceptible it can be as small of a move as you want watch how small i'll make this now and 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 that's really all you need you can start with the medicine ball by making it more uh bigger that'll kind of help you with your tempo uh, we'll move to the second tip it's going to be a continuation of this first one this counter move what we're going to do is say one and that'll be the takeaway. And we'll just reverse everything. We're going to reverse the hip. We're going to reverse the, the right knee for a little bit of a rightwards hip bump and the left knee kicking in. So something like this. And I'm going to exaggerate the and this time. It looks like this. And one. And one. And now you can see how my trunk will advance my arms and the club itself will advance at the mercy of the winding big muscles of the trunk and the legs and the hips. So no matter how light the club gets, if you can recall the sensation of this heavy object, so really hard to kind of jerk this back, the heavier of an item you can get, the better. A bowling ball would work really great. 16 pounds, this is only eight. 16 pounds because it makes you swing it with gravity swing it with centrifugal force pulling out as you start to rotate with this outward seeking force trying to work towards the ground and one and one 
Now let's do a couple of pans that are more imperceptible, like you might use in your golf swing. And one. And one. So nobody will really know that you're using this counter move, except they'll see you making an awfully smooth takeaway. All right, so now I've grabbed a driver. And let's take a look and see how that and one is gonna work. The feeling is, try to recall that really heavy medicine ball or bowling ball feeling. Now all of a sudden I've got this, this is like a 60 gram shaft, so not the lightest they make, but pretty damn light, 60 grams. You know, they make them down to down under 40 grams now you can get a shaft but you can see the problem with that is it's so light it doesn't feel like you're swinging an, an object anymore you really want to get the sensation that you're you're swinging a bowling ball or an anvil into a, the side of a building like a wrecking ball that'll really make it easier to get tempo and repeating power so let's take a look here same idea here. I'll make the big end first so you can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to be pushing, kicking the right knee towards the middle, flexing it as I let this left hip do a little lateral move. And that kind of makes my center of mass swing in the opposite direction as I'm going to have it wind up on the back swing. So just a little counter move, preceding the pullback of the club, overcome inertia. I think everything gets smooth. So here we go. And. 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 Okay. Into that, we're going to reverse that. Remember the medicine ball move. And one. And one. Now, see, my arms are kind of locked, locked in to my armpits or my chest muscles. And I'm not actually going to advance them past my chest for the first old three feet of the swing or so. Instead, I'm going to focus on using the muscles of the rear end and the hips and the legs and the back and the trunk to cause this end of the stick to advance the first few feet. It'll be right about until the hook handle gets to about the right thigh or the right hip, and that'll be your end one. So something like this to make it really smooth. And big muscles only, feeling this club heavy like a medicine ball with a very light grip. And one. And one. Just like that. Let's give it a try with a ball in the way. You can kind of look at it a couple times, maybe from a couple different angles, and we'll check out, see if it's as smooth as we're looking for. Smooth in one piece. Thank you.